Esther Pearl, The State of Affairs, Rethinking Infidelity. Embark on a journey of exploring the complex and ever-evolving concept of infidelity through the summary of Esther Pearl's book, The State of Affairs, Rethinking Infidelity. In this insightful exploration, you'll discover the blurred lines that separate fidelity and infidelity, the role of secrecy, sexual chemistry, and emotional involvement in defining affairs, and how these infidelities can fundamentally impact our identities. Along with that, you'll delve into cultural perspectives on infidelity, the intertwining of love and lies, and even the alternative approaches to monogamy, such as consensual non-monogamy. Infidelity Uncertainties Infidelity is on the rise, but its definition remains unclear. The lack of a clear consensus on what constitutes cheating has resulted in varying estimates of infidelity. The author identifies three elements, secrecy, sexual chemistry, and emotional involvement, the majority of infidelities share. A sexual connection does not necessarily involve sex, and emotional involvement causes more pain than physical infidelity. The Betrayal Identity Crisis Infidelity poses a threat to one's sense of self-identity as it shakes the foundations of a relationship that is integral in building one's identity. In long-term partnerships, the betrayal can cause individuals to question their self-worth, leading to a crisis of identity. In America, romantic love is a supreme achievement, causing acts of infidelity to be construed as such. However, this is not the case in other cultures. Betrayers may also lose their sense of self as they are forced to see themselves through their partner's eyes. Infidelity can lead to individuals assuming new identities that conflict with their true selves. The Taboo of Jealousy in the West Jealousy, an emotion prevalent in literature, is often left out in Western self-help books that aim to address love and betrayal. Betrayed partners in Western countries rarely admit to feeling jealous to avoid losing the moral high ground. However, in many non-Western countries, jealousy is accepted as a normal emotion and is often the centerpiece of counseling sessions for couples dealing with infidelity. Previously, jealousy was considered normal in the West, especially for men, but as gender equality emerged, jealousy became shameful for both genders. While jealousy is not a feeling Westerners learn to welcome, it could strengthen relationships in small doses as it proves that a partner loves and cares for you. The Truth About Truth-Telling in Relationships The idea that honesty is the best policy when it comes to relationships is not always true. The context matters, and sometimes, keeping a secret might be necessary to protect your partner or yourself. This summary explores different scenarios where telling the truth might be a bad idea, including cases of infidelity, end-of-life situations, and more. Ultimately, it invites readers to reflect on their motivations for telling the truth and to recognize that there is no one-size-fits-all answer. The Hidden Intricacies of Infidelity Infidelity is not always a symptom of an unhappy relationship. In fact, even those content in their partnerships can stray. The reason lies in the desire to explore alternate identities. For instance, a person who has always led a life of conformity and never prioritized their own desires may engage in an affair to live a different lifestyle. Such was the case with Priya who was in a happy relationship with her husband Colin when she began having an affair with an arborist. Priya's affair was thrilling because she was able to explore her desires and live a life she never pursued before. Her sessions with the author highlighted that she had always played the role of a good girl and never defied expectations. Through infidelity, Priya was able to explore her own identity and choose her own path, away from the one she thought was expected of her. When love and sex don't mix The complexity of relationships sometimes leads to scenarios where love and sex don't mix. In some cases, past trauma and abuse may manifest and cause individuals like Garth to seek sex workers instead of their partners. Garth's case is not unusual as men who experienced violent family situations in childhood tend to project mother-son relationships onto adult relationships with women. Garth felt it was his duty to protect and care for his mother back in his childhood home when his father was a violent alcoholic. 
This unhealthy environment led him to become overly caught up in his mother's emotional life, which redirected his affinity for sex away from women he loves. Terry Reel, a psychotherapist who penned an article on the subject, said that men in these situations lack a cure. Garth's aversion to sexual contact with his partners, as seen in his previous failed marriages, continued with his third wife, resulting in his unfaithfulness and eventual departure. Beyond Infidelity The book challenges the perception of infidelity as the worst betrayal in a relationship. While 91% of Americans see infidelity as morally unacceptable, the author argues that paying little or no attention to a partner and making unreasonable demands are equally harmful. Using the story of Mona and Dexter, the book explores how emotional abuse can be more destructive than physical betrayal. The author proposes that understanding the different forms of betrayal is essential in creating healthy relationships. Consensual Non-Monogamy The traditional model of monogamous relationships is not the only option available. The alternative approach of consensual non-monogamy involves two partners who are open to having sex with others and committing to multiple people. Non-monogamists argue that people are not wired for monogamy, and fidelity is a lie. Infidelity often stems from breaking rules, and relationships, regardless of form, require rules. Falling in love with a third party constitutes just as much of a betrayal as in a monogamous relationship. While consensual non-monogamy isn't a fail-safe solution, it's a valid option that requires open and honest communication. In conclusion, Esther Pearl's The State of Affairs, Rethinking Infidelity, brings to light the varying definitions, cultural implications, and intricacies of cheating that shape modern relationships. By understanding the three common elements present in infidelities, secrecy, sexual chemistry, and emotional involvement, we can delve into the deep impact betrayal has on our sense of self and identity. Further, by examining jealousy, truth, and non-monogamous relationships, we can weigh the moral complexities and question our understanding of betrayal. Ultimately, this insightful book equips readers to think critically about the intricacies of infidelity and its effects on our relationships and identities.